Hi, I'm Talek, and today on Out of Spec, we're taking a look at the Volvo EX30. We're gonna check out the classic Volvo looks with the Thor's hammer, but we're also gonna get one of the early access to the inside because it's currently only on tour for reservation holders. So we're gonna take a look at all the, the fun little buttons inside, the interior lights, and whether or not you can fit a, a set of golf clubs inside. So again, a very early days look at the Volvo EX30. Let's check it out. So here we are, the EX30. All righty, come, come check this out. All right. Feels nice in here. Good materials, recycled materials everywhere. This is the lowest carbon footprint of all the Volvos they currently make. So definitely worth checking it out. Yeah, look at that. Even the, so back, both front and back have the same metallic. It feels like metal. It might be just covered, but nice and solid there. All right. So here's the front seat. It's cool. I, these look like these may light up here. These clear-ish translucent parts of the vent. Nice vertical screen. Be cool if this turned and flipped like on some other vehicles. But yeah, some nice textured fabrics here. Definitely need some options. Some lighting through here. And then of course, the fun glass roof, which again, just even in my car, it's more, it's more fun for the people in the back seat. But there we are, the EX30. So looking at this, you might be wondering, where are the window controls? You know, this, this uh, armrest is very similar to the back seat one. You have the door handle here, but where, how do you do the window? Well, it's right here on the center console. Look at that. Oh, and there's a button to toggle for the rear. So now I'm controlling the rear ones. So this is kind of like the ID4, where you have like a special trick to do. So you have two buttons for four windows. Okay. And lock and unlock right there too. Hmm. All right, so when you're done messing with your rear passenger windows and you want to get the refreshments from the drive-thru, you then have your cup holders right here two or just one. Look at that. That is pretty handy. And if you don't have any drinks, you've got plenty of access down here to all your items. Okay, so we have our uh, turn indicator with lights and then your shifter here. And then it's probably showing up on video here, but it looks like an infrared sensor, potentially for some driver system. Would like a, a slightly larger screen, but it it works. I think it's maybe roughly the same size as what's in the Polestar 2. It's been a minute since I've sat in one, but it seems to be about the similar layout. All right, going down from the main screen, we have a wire. It looks like one wireless charger here, at least one symbol. I'm not sure if both are wireless. Put a wireless there. I actually have metal there, so it's not going to charge. Um, and then down here, we actually have USB-C. So you can do wireless or USB-C and actually tuck the phone away if you uh, <laughs> don't want to be bothered by any messages. That looks like that's removable. Yeah, I got all these, these layers and levels of storage in here. And then as we saw from the back seat, the pass-through. All right, let's get on out of here. So after sitting this for a little bit, it definitely reminds me of sort of the amount of room I had in my Bolt but with much more um, thought put into where you're gonna put everything. So yeah, I would, if I was uh, looking for another rideshare vehicle, a nice compact thing for getting around the city, this thing could do rideshare. You could take your friends around the corner to lunch every once in a while. Not sure I'd wanna have five people on a road trip on this thing, maybe four, uh, just cause that back seat middle is just a little on the small side, but definitely plenty of room for four average sized adults. Oh, look, I left the window down, but um, yeah, very smart, sleek, very crafty usage of storage space wherever you look and just look at these lines. I think the gods would be happy too with Thor's hammer being here as well.
All right, we are now getting in the back seat of thunk, the EX30 back seat here. Look at this. These recycled materials are just so clean back here. You know, it to the touch, you know, it's, it feels like plastic, but to the eye, it looks, you know, it, it just kind of blends in and uh, just looks very smart. Interesting handle there. Look at that. First time I've seen a handle up there. A little armrest. We still get an armrest in the uh, back seat here. And then the center, I'm not sure how this works. I need to get better at these. Sort of. This is the center. Oh, maybe it's a 60 40 only. So, yeah. Get the glass roof here. Woo. All right. So, I am 5'11 and I have this much headroom sitting in the back seat all the way back sitting upright about that much head seat. so still fit a couple of six feet or so people in here three would be kind of tight but you know when you're going taking your buds to lunch real quick you know that'll work so it could make for a decent rideshare vehicle definitely has the range and the performance for it we also have here a not sure if this is meant for phones but it looks like it could be place to stick your phone so it doesn't go all the way in the pocket and a pocket that goes about that far down on both sides a little phone pocket and a big pocket and yeah look again this is the door handle to open and get out of there okay so here's the back seat um, middle looks like you can fit a phone in there while you charge it um, since this is a prototype I'm not sure if that's actually oh oh that is the window control how cool is that window control in the middle there all right so usb-c to charge your phone with the new iphone 15s we'll just use the usb-c cord there and then look at that pass through and there's actually a little easter egg here of the moose <laughs> all right look at that and there's the front seat i just think it's nice smart and clean Look at that. Okay, there we have the front where you can put your charging cable and another moose Easter egg there. What was his name again? Morty. Morty the moose. Here we are. <laughs> and your typical washer fluid, but there is, you can put a little bit of stuff up there versus nothing, which is good. Look at that. <laughs> Sideways golf clubs fitting in the EX30 right here. Get the long drivers in there. Almost. Oh, maybe diagonal. Is it in? Okay. Well, I don't know if it'll close with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They just have little will it fit guides right there. <laughs> now one thing man might catch. We have latch. Alright, so you can fit a set of golf clubs in the EX30. I don't know about two sets though. <laughs> Alrighty, there you have it. That is an early look at the Volvo EX30. I for one can't wait to drive the thing. I can't wait to see how the dual motor does on a nice curvy mountain road. So stay tuned for more EX30 content here on Out of Spec. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.